Hi folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. Trying to get pregnant. Start with a basal body temperature chart. If you have been trying unsuccessfully to achieve the pregnancy, the first thing you should do is get familiar with your body by keeping the basal body temperature chart. Menstrual cycle You will need to figure out the length of your menstrual cycle by noting the start day of your period and when it ends, along with any other pertinent information. If you decide to visit a fertility specialist, he slash she will probably have you do this anyway. This way you can stay one step ahead by doing it yourself and taking it with you when you go. Keep in mind that cycle lengths can vary anywhere from about 21 days to 35 days, the average being about 28 days. A woman who has a 28-day cycle will ovulate release an egg at about day 14. Women who have shorter or longer cycles will ovulate earlier or later than that. Illness or stress can interfere with ovulation. A woman may not ovulate every month. This is called an anovulatory cycle. Cervical mucus In addition to charting your menstrual period, you will also need to check and chart your cervical mucus. The quality and quantity of cervical mucus changes over the course of your menstrual cycle. In the early portion of your cycle, the mucus is likely to be sticky and thick. However, as ovulation time approaches, the mucus becomes progressively wet, slick and abundant. During ovulation, the mucus may actually resemble egg white. After ovulation, it will go back to sticky and thick. Cervix position Your cervix position also changes during the course of your cycle. At the beginning of your cycle, your cervix is firm and slightly lowered into your vagina. Then as ovulation time grows nearer, it rises up a little into your vagina, becoming soft and chunky. In order to check your cervix you need to put your clean, middle finger into your vagina so that it goes up to your middle knuckle or more. Right before ovulation it might feel like your lips. After you ovulate, it will seem harder, somewhat like the tip of your nose. Make sure you record any noticeable changes on your basal chart. Basal body temperature Your basal body temperature is when you take your temperature as soon as you wake up in the morning before you get out of bed. This temperature will shift at different times during the cycle to give you an idea of when you ovulate. Right before ovulation, your temperature will be slightly lower somewhere between 97.0 degrees F to 97.5 degrees F whereas during the beginning of the cycle your temperature range should be somewhere between 97.6 degrees F to 97.8 degrees F. Advice Make copies of the basal temperature chart so that you can start a new chart every cycle and keep track for several months. Use a standard digital thermometer to chart your temperature. Keep track of any illness, stress, lack or sleep and days you have intercourse. Connect temps to see the pattern. Remember that you need to have intercourse sometime during the five days before ovulation because once you ovulate, the window of opportunity slams shut. If you keep a basal body temperature chart, it should help you become more familiar with your body so that you may be able to achieve the pregnancy on your own. Hi folks, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. Trying to get pregnant. Start with a basal body temperature chart. If you have been trying unsuccessfully to achieve the pregnancy, the first thing you should do is get familiar with your body by keeping the basal body temperature chart. Menstrual cycle You will need to figure out the length of your menstrual cycle by noting the start day of your period and when it ends.